Yo guys, what's up? This is Living in Alberta. Today guys, we are in a community just north of Red Deer. Let's take a look at five things you should know before moving to Black Falls, Alberta. What's happening guys? My name is Kyle. Welcome to the channel. If you've been here before, welcome back. On this channel guys, we break down everything when it comes to moving to or living in the central Alberta region. So guys, if you do want to see more videos like this one, make sure you hit the subscribe button, click that notification bell so you're notified every week when a new video comes out. And guys, if you would like some help with the real estate needs, I am a licensed realtor in the province or you have any specific questions, use this info guys. Give me a shout anyway, like, we'd love to hear from you. All right, with that being said, let's get right into the video. All right guys, let's dive right into number one. Let's talk about where Black Falls is located just to give you guys some context. It's just out of the north side of Red Deer. So literally, you're about 10 minutes out of the north side of Red Deer, really, really quick, just off Highway 2A. And because Black Falls is so close, guys, it's really a suburb of Red Deer. A lot of people like to live in Black Falls who actually work in Red Deer. Now, I think it's super ironic, guys, that I always talk about how there's no traffic issues in Red Deer, however, Highway 2A from Black Falls to Red Deer can get a little congested sometimes. So it's a single lane highway, guys. It's really, really windy and curvy. So in the morning, uh, before work and also after work, and even during the day sometimes, guys, you can get behind little old granny and it's really tough to pass. But definitely there's a higher volume of traffic in the morning and after work. So sometimes that commute to Red Deer, guys, 2A is not always the best idea. Also, guys, there's a train that crosses Highway 2A heading into Red Deer. Honestly, I've been stuck behind that train so many times. There's even been times where that damn thing has broken down right across the road and I've been stuck there for like 45 minutes to an hour. This has been so long. So let's kind of talk about the commute to Red Deer, guys. So again, if you're just going into the north side of Red Deer, Highway 2A is a really good option. But a little pro tip for you, because it does get super congested on that little highway, Use Highway 2A if you're heading downtown Red Deer or to the south end of Red Deer, maybe you're heading to Costco. It's gonna save you a lot of time. You're gonna to get to Red Deer a lot quicker. All right, let's talk about that train that I was just talking about, guys. That train also runs through the center of town in Black Falls. So it's literally just on the west side of Highway 2A running through Black Falls. So that train can get pretty loud. When I was in Black Falls shooting videos or getting B-roll for this video, it was running quite frequently and that, that horn was pretty loud, guys. Now, I think they have a policy where at night they don't blow it anymore, but it's something you're gonna to wanna to take into consideration, guys, when you're trying to figure out which neighborhood you wanna live in. All right, guys, let's get right into number two and let's talk about the crazy growth that Black Faults has been experiencing. So I'm gonna throw out some kind of boring stats for you guys, just to give you guys an idea from 2011 to 2016, and it depends on where you look. There's differing opinions here, there's differing information, but it was either the number one or the number two fastest growing community in the country. Now the oil economy has experienced a dip since 2015. However, it's really starting to pick up again here in 2022. So the, the growth has kind of slowed a little bit. However, it's still double the provincial average in Black Falls. Now right now the population is about 12,000 people by 2030, they're expecting Black Falls to have approximately 30,000 people. So that is some massive, massive growth, guys. And with all this growth, there has been a ton of infrastructure and businesses added to Black Falls. Now the town council, the town of Black Falls, they're not afraid to invest in the community. Last year, they got a brand new multiplex and a public library. And that, that multiplex has two arenas and it's home to the Black Falls Bulldogs. So you got an AJHL Junior Hockey League team there. And if you're moving to Alberta, guys, you better be a hockey fan. This town is hockey, 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 right? And not long before that, guys, in 2014, they got a massive recreational center in the Abbey Center. So um, it's got a gym, indoor track, field house, a wicked area for the kids to play in. So Black Falls has experienced some major growth. And I think you're going to see that continue to accelerate over the next few years. And Black Falls is just going to, going to continue to get better and better. More businesses, more employment, more infrastructure. 
All right, guys, number three on the list. And let's talk about some kind of cons or things that Black Falls doesn't have. For starters, and this is a, a fairly big con, um, there is no high school in Black Falls. So if your kids are in that high school age, they're gonna be bused to Lacombe. So a little bit longer of a commute. However, guys, there is good news on this front. By 2024, they're expected to, or they are developing a high school. It's going to be in the public school division. So good news there. And also a couple little minor things, guys. Now, Black Folds is super close to Red Deer. So a lot of these things, obviously they're subjective. You might not care. Other people might care about them, but Black Folds does not have its own hospital. If you need to go to emergency, you're either going to Red Deer or you're going to Lacombe. Also guys, there's no ambulance service in Black Falls, so if you do need to call the ambulance for something serious, they're gonna be responding again from either Red Deer or Lacombe. Now, a little pro tip for you guys, and we used to do this all the time on the ambulance. Uh, when we pick somebody up in Lacombe, or sorry, in Black Falls from responding from Red Deer, obviously if it wasn't too serious and didn't need to go to Red Deer, we would always take them to Lacombe. So even if you're not calling the ambulance and you're just going to emergency on your own, if it's nothing too serious, and I hope nobody from Lacombe is watching this because they used to get super pissed off when we do this. Go to Lacombe, guys. You're going to get pretty much in and out in those smaller rural hospitals where in Red Deer, good chance you're gonna be waiting three, four, five, six hours before you get into emergency. Now, a couple other things from talking from buddies who live in Black Falls, and I'm, I mean, it's a smaller community. It's a smaller town, obviously 12,000 people. I know you guys probably aren't expecting it to have this busy bustling center. Um, they say there's only a couple grocery stores. They're kind of mediocre. This is their words, not mine. There is no theater there. So I know that's a super fun thing to do with the kids. You're gonna have to go into Red Deer or Lacombe for that. However, I mean, you got Galaxy Cinemas down in the south end of Red Deer, which is, a, you know, it's a massive, it's a pretty cool theater, although it's super expensive. So just keep in mind, guys, you are in a smaller town. Um, there's gonna be a lot of things that it doesn't have. You know, Lacombe will have a few more amenities. Red Deer's obviously gonna have a lot more amenities. So you're gonna be having to make trips into the city for certain things. So I know that's probably not a deal breaker. Like I said, you're only 10 minutes out of the north side of Red Deer. You can be you know, in Parkland Malls on the north side of Red Deer as well. So again, something to keep in mind. All right, let's get into number four. I think we're on number four. Four, number four. Now I know I say this about a lot of communities around here and it's true, but in my opinion, Black Falls is one of the best communities for young families. I asked my buddy what he loves the most about living in Black Falls, and he says it's all the kids and the young families. And he described it in a perfect way. He said, my kids are out all day long playing with other kids like it's the 80s and 90s. And I think that's the perfect way to sum up Black Falls. Now there's an abnormally large amount of parks and playgrounds throughout the town and I already talked about the Abbey Center but that is a really a, a wicked little area for the kids. So inside the Abbey Center there's this kind of like treehouse slash play area. Um, my kids love going there. It's awesome guys and outside of the Abbey Center is a wicked outdoor water park and I'll throw up some b-roll so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Awesome place for the kids and right across from the Abbey Street is a really cool 12 acre mountain bike park. So it's got jumps, it's got you know obstacle courses, balancing, something really cool for the kids. And another cool little tidbit I like about Black Falls is it has a 40 kilometer per hour speed limit. So if you do have young families, I mean, I would appreciate having a little bit lower of a speed limit. Now I know a lot of you are gonna be like, that's way too slow, but it drives me nuts when you have these idiots speeding through residential areas when it's really not necessary. Now I know the speed limit probably isn't gonna prevent these morons from speeding, but hey, maybe at least they'll get a bigger speeding ticket if they do get caught. So if you do have a young family, guys, and you're not really interested living in the big city, Black Falls 100% should be on your radar. All right, guys, last one on the list, and we're just gonna call this one odds and ends. The homes in Black Falls are obviously gonna be a little more affordable than Red Deer and Sylvan Lake. The median detached home price through the entire year of 2021 was $347,000. You are going to pay slightly higher property taxes in Black Falls. You're gonna be in between Red Deer and Lacombe. Lacombe's gonna be a little bit higher. And Black Falls does have the Black Falls Online Local Transit. It is a seven passenger van, guys, that you can book at certain locations throughout the town of Black Falls, and it will take you in and out of Red Deer. Now, really, if you are living in Black Falls, you're probably gonna to wanna to have a car, but that is a really good option. So again, guys, Black Falls is one of the fastest going communities in Alberta. 
Um, it's experiencing a lot of growth. They're adding a lot of infrastructure businesses. You're going to see a lot of things pop up. Eventually, Black Falls is going to have everything that you need. It's really, really great for young families. So if you want to be close to Red Deer, this is the community that's probably the closest to Red Deer. Again, a lot of people consider this a suburb of Red Deer and jokingly call it North Red Deer. So again, if you have a young family, you're looking to stay just outside the big city, Black Falls is a really great option. All right, guys, that is all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please do me a solid, hit that like button and definitely hit the subscribe button and click that notification bell, guys, so you're notified every single week when a new video comes out. If you do have any more questions about Black Falls, guys, throw them in the comments below or shoot me a text, email, phone call, whatever you prefer, guys. You can use the information showing up on the screen right now. I am a licensed realtor in the area. And if you would like to take me up with that offer, give me a shout, guys. All right, I will see you next week.